feminist anti-war group. It really feels like everything going on in that convention is in direct opposition to everything we believe and stand for. We came here to march on the Republican National Convention. We know there's a Democratic president, but Republicans con in Congress are bought off by the Israel lobby and the weapons industry, and every one of them votes in favor of sending the bombs that are dropping on Gaza. Both parties conspired to make this genocide possible. It seems like the only thing that they can agree on, sending the money of the American working class to bomb and starve people all over the world. For the last nine months, we've seen almost all our leaders fall in line to support this terror they are enacting on the Palestinian people. And the city of Milwaukee and the Republican Party have conspired to keep us as far away from them as possible so that maybe they couldn't hear us or see us so that they couldn't hear us saying the names of the martyrs from Gaza that they had a hand in murdering, so that they can't hear our demands for bodily autonomy and reproductive rights that they're fighting tooth and nail to take away from us. And I hope you all see this ridiculous security perimeter and think about what it really means. The implication is that we only have the right to protest if the powerful can't hear or see us. That is an extremely dangerous precedent when we have so many, so many critical issues on the line. And we have to be in the streets, not just for our reproductive rights here at home, but the reproductive rights of women in Gaza who are having C-sections with no anesthesia and their children crushed under bombs that say, made in the USA. Do we really have a right to protest if it only means when we're far away from anyone who can listen? Our comrades and ourselves are already facing repression at the hands of the state, with things set to get a whole lot worse in the, after the elections in November, whoever wins. Palestine protesters are already catching felony charges. The House of Representatives passed a bill that would change the tax code, so organizations that support Palestine would lose their nonprofit status. Zionists are suing organizations over quote-unquote supporting terrorism so they could shut us down completely. And we're not just on repression's doorstep, we are already under the boot. And I'm not just throwing platitudes around like care or community. We are genuinely all we have right now. Politicians bought off by the billionaire class will not stand up for us. We have to stand up for each other and practice real, genuine solidarity across our issues. Our struggle for health care, reproductive rights, ending wars and fighting repression are the same struggle. We need each other to win. I hope we can collectively see this moment not just as a march on the Republicans, but a jumping off point to continue standing up for one another in material and tangible ways. So we'll show up for reproductive rights, we'll show up for the working class, we'll show up for immigrant rights, and we will show up for Palestine. And we will show up for each other, always, because the stakes are way too high not to. We have a long and incredibly hard fight ahead of us, and we don't, if we don't have each other's backs, we'll all fail. So Code Pink has your backs, and let's show the Republicans they are not welcome in Milwaukee. Thank you.